All right, welcome back to my Let's Play of Axiom Verge 2. Here on my channel, Idle Wisdom. Let's pick up where we left off last time. Let's see, we're at, yes, right here. At the Gaguna step still. Seven hours and 37 minutes and 58 seconds. Or something like that. If you recall last time, what's her face? Uh, Indra defeated another boss with the use of her drone. And then we found our way over here into another area. Let's see, where are we? Down here. I think the boss was, where was the boss that we fought? Oh, it doesn't matter. I think it was right here in this area. Made our way down here, found another storm portal. We also found another, other, are able to open this way. Yeah. We were able to open the way up to here, which is cool, towards the beginning, and over here towards Lake Amagi, which is cool. We found a storm portal, and there's another area of the, the what's that place called? Not the warp. Oh man, too much 40k. <laughs> what the crap? The, the breach. <laughs> and we found some good items. We found both a power-up for our drone and a armor power-up for Indra, which is good on both counts. When we're trying to get over here to where we are told that the Cossacks have a research station, but we also found a note saying that they had turned violent and something's wrong with them. I don't know. Who knows? Let's see, where are we? We should probably go back to the storm portal. There was some more way ways to go. Routes. We hadn't gone... We hadn't exhausted them all. So... No. Oh, look at that. We sh she can go right through them now. That's kind of cool. Oh, that clinging, though. But yeah, let's... No. Get our drone out. Let's see. I need to remember how to do this. Nope, that's the wrong button. Yes, there it is. All right. Let's go back into the breach. All right. Oh, that's right. These guys are making all sorts of a problem. And the axe blade. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. So we went through there and we got a apocalypse flask. Last time we went over to the left first. So let's go over to the right. Alrighty. We haven't been here. Uh oh. Looks like there's distortion. Let's see. Can't do anything with that, though. Hmm. We got this power up to power up the drone's shot. The Damu. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, the distortion field doesn't do anything to that. Huh. Well. That doesn't do us any good yet. All right, well, now we know. Now we know. <laughs> can't catch me. Right here, the music's cool. I love this part. This kind of looks like the architecture that we've been going around in the, the overworld, kind of. Stupid birds. All right. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very good. Now, where else can we go? I don't rem remember. Oh, that's right. This goes up, and we can not get crunched. Let's see. Oh, that was stupid. Oh, right into it. Dummy. All right. We can go up right here, or we can go over here. I don't remember which way we went last time. I'm going to assume that we went to the right. Let's try this way. Yes, we must have gone to the right. 
Oh, duh, of course. Can't hurt that thing, can you? We can! Oh, I... Wow. I didn't even think to attack a, a fire. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we're blocked. Okay. We can't corrupt the fire. Uh huh. We can't destroy it with our power up shot. Well, looks like we're stuck this direction too. Alright, well, whatever. Hmm. Maybe we'll get more power ups for our drone. Maybe Damu will get more powerful. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah! That's a, such a cool part of the song, and it's very short. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! All right, here. I don't think that does anything for us. Maybe it does. Oh, it gets us. Oh, cool. The energy. Oh, well, I learned something. Here's a save spot. That's right. So let's save. All right, we're repaired. We knocked him down. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I found a pipe. Another pipe we can go in. That's cool. Alright. Come on, come on, dude. Got something for you. Oh, tight. Super tight. Well, that was a tight squeeze, anyways. Oh, jeez. Um, did I screw up? Oops. Damu, I think you got too aggressive. Oops. Let's try that again. Um... Well, crap. I wonder what that was supposed to be. Hmm. Let's try going out again and going back a bit and then come back again. Maybe we, if we can get it to come back. Um, this is down here. We've been here. Well, that. Oh, dang, bust it. Can we corrupt these things? No, we cannot. Huh. <sighs> Alright. Now let's try going back up there. These guys are back, so maybe the other guy will be back, too. That weird shadow thing. Damu just got, like, scared, and so he attacked. There it is. Hi, pal. What are you? Stay away from me. Huh. Oh, there it is.
Here's a little groovy music. Okay, he just disappears right here. Is he telling us something? Is it like in Metroid, you know, those things that teach Samus how to do those weird jumps in Super Metroid? Those weird critters. I don't get it. All right. Boom. Boom. And he disappears right there. Huh. Well. Crap if I know. Let's go, Damo. <laughs> Maybe we'll figure that out later. Maybe we have more power-ups we need to get. Woohoo! Alright, we can't get that yet. Of course. Huh. There's a... Apocalypse Flask down there. Let's just check. Nothing over here? Hmm. Well, doesn't seem like anything. Where does this go? Back up here. And that opened that up. Oh, wait, no, now we've opened this up. Oh, woo ha. Now we can, when we come back again, we can just go this way. Ah, oh, well done. Well, cool beans, yo. I'm not sure what the distortion feels quite, the distorted area does or is about. And we're down here again. So let's just warp back up to Indra. Yeah, yeah. And now, hmm. Let's go save. Well, we did do a little bit. Let's see, we went, let's go this way. Yes, I guess. Oh. Oh, geez. Ah, this is it. If you can get it working, that's one. That's the arm. This will allow your human body to defend itself when you're using the drone. So instead of it just sitting there in a fugue, my body will get up and fight. Yes, your body will remain conscious. When you return, your two halves merge and your experiences combine. Ooh, that sounds terrifying, but too useful to pass up. <laughs> wow. Look at it. It's like a fountain, it looks like. But there's some sort of technology underneath it. Whoa. What did it do? Wait, or do I need to do this? Yes. Uh-oh. Finally, I breathe again. <gasps> oh no, we got tricked. Did we get tricked? Is that the arm took us over? That doesn't sound like something I would say. Indeed, you are no longer in control of this body. I am sorry to have deceived you, but I must go. Bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh. Ah. So maybe, maybe, what's his face? That big old huge master control dealy is right. These arms are not up to any good. Oh, now Indra is the Damu drone. <laughs> Get back here. I'm not finished with you. Damn. Oh, this sucks, yo. This is cool, though. <laughs> For reals. Oh, what a punk. Shit. She straight up stole my body. Am I stuck like this? I'm really sorry, Indra. I had no idea this would happen. 
Ah, oh, it's Damu. So you're still trapped here with me. It's just us now. I'm sorry, I'm not as strong as the others. If I was stronger, I could turn you back into a human. I was supposed to be able to transform things. Is there a way to power you up? Well, maybe? They used to have arms that basically add to existing arms. But it's been so long. Well, there's still plan B. Plan A being to take my damn body back, somehow. Alright. Ah, good. Damu's not a freaking traitor. Or at least we don't know that he is. What a punk! The leech is right. Wasn't her name mean the leech? The great leech or something? Oh, man. It's a good thing we got that extra power for our weapon. Oh, man, Damu. We should have powered this drone up more. <laughs> Can we do it still? Yeah, let's... Let's increase his drone's damage. Yes. There we are. That may be a mistake, but I don't know. I think it's good role-playing. Role-playing. We're gonna need to be a little bit more powerful. Okay, I was not sure where I was. I mean, not sure if that was ground or not, or background. It was just background, and there's something over there. That looks cool. I want it. Is that a power-up for the Damu drone? The drone dealie? Well, that's straight-up body snatcher crap. Jeez Louise. Ah, well, there's a note. Terminal Breakthrough 2. Hammond. Oh, this must be from Trace again. Hammond. For a long time, actually, probably. For a long time, the breach's temporal discrepancies confounded us. Until one day, Malka... You remember her? She's in the, ca the, the camp. The first person we found here. Until Malka pointed out to me that those strange blue terminals everywhere appear dimmer on... No, no. Oh, oh my goodness. I hit the wrong button. Sorry. Okay, there. Terminal breakthrough one was the whole purpose of the elevator is to allow yada yada yada. This is terminal breakthrough two. For a long time, the breaches, temporal discrepancies confounded us until one day Malka pointed out to me that those strange blue terminals everywhere appear dimmer on some days or others. On a hunch, I recorded the changes over a period of a month. And do you know what? And what do you know? Without fail, the dimming of the terminals corresponded with. The slowing of time in the breach. Well, this might be from Warren, actually. It's only conjecture at this point, but do you think there could be some undetected radiation from the breach interfering with the terminals? Or, perhaps more worrying, that these terminals have some kind of control over time flow in the breach? Linus. Oh, Linus. Never mind. Alright. Oh, that's right. It was... Yeah. No. Which one was from... From Trace... Da -da. Letter from Trey. So, this one. Yeah, never mind. Alright, this is another area. Entirely. Huh. So those those Hammond's terminals, what are they called? The... Is it, are you talking about the... The, com the computers that What's-Her-Face made? That Hammond made? Or are you talking about something from this world itself? I we can't get through here. All right, it's a cool tree right there, yo. Oh, this is. Hey, that's rude. Yeah. Yeah, get over here. mortar. <laughs> Let's see. Seize? Let's try seizing it. Turrets freeze and are unable to spin. Aim. Oh, never mind. Let's just kill it. Whatever. What are... Oh, another one of these. Very lush green area.
Oh, the Cossack base is right up there, too. But I don't think we're in any position to do anything with them, just being a drone. <laughs> we're a drone! <gasps> well, that, maybe we should go talk to What's-His-Face. I guess we can't take this when we're in this form. There's a passageway up there, but I don't think we can get up there. Should we... The Lamasu. Should we go talk to the Lam Lamasu again? Maybe he would have something to tell us. Eh. Well, this is some uh, dookie bears right here. Jeez. This area is really beautiful. In a sort of old school Metroidvania sort of way. <laughs> is that a spotter drone? Is it spotting for that mortar? Probably. Jerk. Ooh, a health node fragment. Nice. What is this? Storm bomb, my lord Melem Anna. The Udug come from beneath the waves of a great flood, their powers allowing them to enter our world through storms of fire that appear in the sky. Until now, the Udug have seemed almost casual about the danger these storms pose to us of flesh and blood. They are doorways and nothing more to them. But yesterday, a storm erupted with such violence, it was seen to wipe out an entire village. I fear we may have been too successful in our deployment of the wielders. Where the Udug once brushed us, uh, brushed us aside at, like flies, they are now hunting, uh, hunting us like boar. We must find a way to fight back. Arad Lugal the second. Hmm. The storm portals. Is that what they talk about? Like how the storm portals? They were hurting. I. Oh come on. Okay, hold on. Why is it I cannot drive on? All right. All right. I guess we can't go any further this way. Woohoo! What a idyllic area full of weird weapons. Oh, we can go this way though. What is here? What is this? Dune. Allows fast travel to save points. Use the map screen. Alrighty. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. Given how much backtracking this game kind of puts onto you, I would say this is kind of... It's cool. Oh, wow, look at the background. That is beautiful. Well done. There, y'all. Oh, wow, in the rain. There's a little observer. Yep, that's an artillery observer drone. Let's see if we can... Blind. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Aye. Alright. Can we make it? Alright. Oh. Yes, we can. Oh, they have more observers. Aye. Oh. Hey, you. Yeah. Aha. Where's this guy? Oh, right here. Gotcha. <laughs> You little jerks. 
another message. Becoming an arm. To my brother Ludari, I have accepted the NC's offer to become an arm. I know you are against this. Trust me, I have no interest in the Urag war myself, but I felt I had no choice. Over the years, it has become clear to me that the supposed celestial hierarchy represented, represented by the Lamassu is a farce. Oh, jeez. Ansur, which it, which it explains as our mother, is a shackle, or rather a giant stone that we are shackled to, dragging us into the depths. There is no Irkala. After death, there is nothing, not even blackness. The arms and wielders, at least, have a potential for eternal life. They say only a storm bomb can fully destroy them. Oh, that's good to know. Once the ceremony is complete, I will be joined with Maj... Magesh Getil. Magesh. No, Magesh Getil. A like minded scholar from a group. From our group, sorry. They will anoint me a Mashalama. Oh, wow. I think that's one of the ones we have after the goddess. I wish you would join me. There is no telling what may happen to any of us in this war. I do not want to lose you. Elutil. Wow, so Elutil is a complete metaphysical nihilist. That's 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 sad. Kind of pathetic too. I have to say. I wonder what the basis of this person's uh, certainty that there is nothing after death. I maybe there is no s certainty on it. Just a assumption. Wow, that tree is really cool looking. Let me actually look at our our upgrades. A Mashalama, that's right. An intelligent en entity that healed you and now lives in your head. That's the one we were just talking- that's the one that stole our body. Indra's body was just stolen by this Amashalama. Now, that Elentil or whatever it was said they were being joined with a scholar in their group. Huh. Oh man, the, the Kazakh Dili is right up there. <laughs> Couldn't shoot forever there, could you? Jerk. Alrighty. Ah! That, that startled me. Aye. I think this one might have me. No, no, I got it. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Very good. All right, cool. Well, let's see. Hmm. We're almost at the Kazakh base, or what I think is the Kazakh base, likely. Let's check out over here. What do we have here? Oh, it's the other side of this. I can't do anything with this. Detonate. Oh. Let's detonate it. Oh. Never mind. Hmm. Wonder if you could put... Well, who knows. We'll have to see. What I want to do now, though, is if we can teleport to... Huh. I don't know how to do this. Where was the Lamasu? Do y'all remember? I do not. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's right there. I see him. I want to see if we can talk to him. Um, okay, no. No, no, I want to go there. How do I... That's a set, of, a set of reminder. Never mind. No, I don't want to set a reminder. Fast travel. Triangle. Oh, we're still just <laughs> a little drone. Can we talk to you? So what is this area here? It was Cliff Town. It was going to be a base for EU researchers. We didn't get far before the drones attacked. But we should go back to Jonestown. I'm tired of being alone. There's power in being independent, though. Try to appreciate that. Um, Indra, why don't you tell her? Hey, uh, Amashalama. 
the weird arm that was living in my head stole my body. Oh, okay. There's power in being independent. Try to appreciate that. Ugh. Game, you're not doing a good job. I'm, now I'm starting to think that uh, Lamasi is not going to say anything of any importance to us. Darn it. Come on. Lamasu, um, you're right about the arms. I appreciate that now. Hey. Dude, for reals. I didn't... He didn't care. Hi. Nothing? Lamasu. You just, I just see a little drone. It is of no importance. Well, crap. All right, well, let's go back to where we were, I suppose. I suppose. I guess we do go this way, see what's around that other way. No, not that. Let's just go right quick, check that other direction. And if this doesn't pan out, we will um, go further to the where we were. I don't remember. Hmm. All right. All right. I guess we go down. That map teleport is pretty useful in this game, I'd say. Although, I don't know. Maybe it would have been cooler if you could just... You'd have to go to a teleport to a safe spot. Hmm. Platform? No. I don't know what it did. But I guess I can do things to those. Make them into platforms, maybe? Doesn't look like there's anything you can do this way. There's some energy over there. All right. All right. Hmm. No, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wielder, it is I, the Lamasu. Oh, it's another form of the Lamasu. Have you decided to stop trying to kill me? Unfortunately, that directive must remain, but recent events have caused another directive to take priority. You mean Amashalama taking my body? Indeed, the consequences of this are dire. In the past, Amashalama was one of the most troublesome arms. After the wielders defeated the Udug, it was necessary to restore and rebuild the society to how it was prior to their introduction. Though must, most wielders complied faithfully, Amashalama and her wielder resisted, creating a new conflict. By complied faithfully, do you mean, do you by any chance mean they killed themselves? Destroyed is perhaps more apt, as nothing less than a storm bomb can completely dismantle the arms nanotech. So you asked Amashalama to nuke herself, and she declined? Can't say, my, say I blame her. Nevertheless, you and I now have some common cause. I have reason to believe she is headed for the suspension bridge at Sector 3326. Destroy her, and I will endeavor to return you to your human form. Wow. Well, there it is again. Wow, this is a cool area. Look at that background. That is really awesome. 3324. Oh, I see. The over here. 3324. Alrighty, so I guess we do need to go over here and then further that to the right. Oh cool. Well, I thought maybe the Lamas. Oh my You big goat. get you. My 
get you. That's right. Oh, it's another one of these. Haha. -ha. That's right. Take that. Medium apocalypse flask. All right. Mwahaha. <laughs> I am not in a giving vein this day. Look at these tanks, or these, you know, these track vehicles, or whatever they are. Old ruined vehicles. Oh, jeez. Yikes. Now, what are these? I don't know. I don't know if we need to be going this direction or not, but we are for the moment. Well, I guess we'll just go until we find a safe spot or something. Then we can teleport if we need to. Ow. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> and we're teleported just fine. <laughs> right back where I kind of wanted to be anyways. Hmm. Well, that was uh, something. I think I'm going to save this game right here, though. And call it for today. That Wow. Talk about a dramatic... Uh, change of event, shift in, or shift in the events, or whatever you want to say. I did not expect that at all. To be perfectly honest, that was kind of unexpected. <laughs> oh look, yeah, it's X that we can't return to our human form. Man, Amashalama's a punk, but like, uh, like Indra said, she kind of can't blame her because she doesn't want to be destroyed. If you recall. She agreed to become an arm in the first place because she was had succumbed to some form of like nihil metaphysical materialistic nihilism or something or other. There's nothing beyond this life except nothing. Therefore, any form of immortality is preferable to to death and the nothingness it brings in her thinking. Therefore, to be asked after the conflict is over and the arms. And the wielders did their job and saved their society from the Udug, then to be asked to reduce yourself to basically a latent form that is almost akin to death, if only slightly different. And she's like, uh, negative there, Ghost Rider. And it said the. It was both a Mashalama and her wielder, who I assume was that scholar from their group that they talked about. So. The two of them were like, no, no, we're not doing that. We're not going to destroy ourselves. But anyways, yeah, so I want to say thank you for joining me for this episode of my Let's Play of Axiom Verge 2. Here on my channel, Idol Wisdom. This is a really um, interesting episode, I have to say. I, I, I'm I, really, <laughs> as they might say back in the day, I'm really digging this freaking turn of events. That's the, that is the, what I was trying to say, a turn of events. And I like the aesthetics of this new area with this rain and this green and those weird looking trees. The music here is really cool. So thank you for joining me and I hope you're all doing well. So leave a comment, give the videos a like if you prefer, if you choose, I would appreciate it. And if you've not subscribed to my channel, give it, give it some thought and I'll talk to you later. Take care y'all. <laughs>